To finish our work with railings, we should create the external railing on the terrace. First, let's open the Railing Default Settings dialog and change some parameters. If you'd like to skip to the next step, you can apply the external railing favorite from the Lesson 18 Favorites folder on the railing level. Go to the Rails Hierarchy level and push the minus button to delete this component. Select the panel hierarchy level, and using the panel settings panel, set the panel top to 150. On the inner posts level, use the inner post settings panel to set the inner post bottom offset to minus 200. Now, in the inner post component settings panel, select the fixing settings page and check the fixing checkbox. Select the side type with rectangle fixing plate. Apply the steel stainless building material. Extension relative to post center line set to 50. Plate height to 150. And plate width to 75. Switch to the post hierarchy level and set the same parameters. Post settings panel. Post bottom offset. Minus 200. Post Component Settings Panel Fixing Page Check the Fixing Checkbox Select the Side Type with Square Fixing Plate Building Material Steel Stainless Extension Relative to Post Center Line 50 Plate Height 150 and Plate Width to 75 Finally, go to the segment level and set the equally distribute pattern value, max length, to 800. Then click OK. The curved segment of the railing should go along the curved wall reference line. To do this, let's again use the View, On Screen, View Options, Wall and Beam Reference Lines menu command. Now, click in the intersection point of the left terrace slab edge and the external wall surface. Move the cursor over the internal surface of the curved wall, type D50-, and hit Enter to create the first railing segment. While holding the Shift key, move the cursor upwards and click on the curved wall reference line. Hover the cursor over the intersection point of the right terrace slab edge and the external wall surface. Press the Q key to mark it as the snap reference. Then move the cursor upwards and click in the intersection point of the curved wall reference line and the blue snap line. Move the cursor downwards on the internal surface of the curved wall. Type D50 plus and press Enter. Hold Shift and double click the previously marked reference snap point to finish creating the railing. Finally, select the railing. Click on its middle reference line segment, and in the pet palette, push the curve edge button and click on the reference line of the curved wall. Turn off walls and beams reference lines, and hit escape. Now we need to edit this railing on the sub-element level. Go to the 3D window, Select the terrace railing and activate the edit mode. Using the edit mode display palette, switch off the environment. With the shift key pressed, click on both short panels and on any panel in the curved segment. Then press delete or backspace. Click on any inner post of the curved segment and push the Settings button in the info box. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the Inner Post Favorite from the Lesson 18 Favorites folder. In the Inner Post Bottom Offset field, type 850. On the Fixing Settings page, select the Base Fixing Type with the Circle Plate. 
set the plate width and plate height dimensions to 60 millimeters. Then click OK. Select both corner posts and open the settings dialog. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the post favorite from the Lesson 18 Favorites folder. Make the same changes as you did for the inner posts and click OK. Exit the edit mode and deselect the railing. Let's check the results using the marquee area. Open the one gallery floor and activate the marquee tool. In the info box, select the all floors selection method with bold marquee. With two clicks, create the rectangle marquee area around the gallery slab and terrace. Activate the Show Selection Marquee in 3D Context menu command. Using the Orbit mode, navigate around the building to see all the railings. If you would like to get more information about the ARCHICAD Railing Tool and its settings dialog, please watch the Railing Tool playlist on the ARCHICAD YouTube channel. Finally, apply the Show All in 3D command. Go back to the One Gallery Floor Plan and hit Escape to deselect the marquee.